Well, Mr. President, welcome back. Thank you so much. Welcome back to the White House. Thank you so much, Mr. And the Oval Office. And uh, it's great to be at your side once again. We're going to stay at your side. You know, we stand at a real inflection point in history. I know you and I have talked about this, where the decisions we make now are going to determine the future for decades to come, particularly in Europe. And this is one of those moments. Congress needs to pass a supplemental funding for Ukraine before they break uh, the holiday recess, before they give Putin the greatest Christmas gift they could possibly give him. And uh, so because we've seen what happens when dictators don't pay the price for the damage and the death and the destruction they cause, and they keep going when no price is paid. The threats to America, to Europe, and the world will only keep rising if we don't act. And I intend that we act. The American people, Democrats and Republicans uh, alike, I think, understand this. And they understand the very real fight that's going on right now. In the winter, this winter, Putin plans once again to bombard Ukraine's electric grid, intends to, with rockets, and plunging families in the darkness in the coldest part of the year and doing great damage. We can't and won't let him succeed. We mustn't let him succeed in that. Mr. President, I call on Congress to do the right thing, to stand with Ukraine and to stand up for freedom. And I want to thank you for being here. You're going to help the cause, and I don't want you giving up hope. Thank you so much, Mr. President. Dear journalists, I'm um, really glad to be here at the White House today and share some very important messages. Thank you for the invitation, and I'd like to thank you, America and our partners for the support. And today, the special day, really special day for Ukraine, Ukrainian people. It's a day of our land forces, almost 600,000. Incredibly brave Ukrainian sons and daughters are on the battlefield, and they were powerful. <coughs> this is their day, and, and really, they prove every day that Ukraine can win. Now our forces are advancing, and we've successfully defeated Russia in the Black Sea, and Russia is hiding the remnants <coughs> of its naval fleet in remote base. And meanwhile, Ukraine has set up an expert corridor in the Black Sea that's really boosting our economy and global food security. Yesterday I met with the IMF and World Bank, and they impressed with the Ukraine's economic growth almost 5%, and that's significant. Ukraine is gradually becoming less dependent on aid, and we are moving to the right, I think, right direction, and I want to discuss with the President <coughs> how, how to strengthen it, especially enhancing our air defense and the ability to destroy Russia's logistics. Our goals for 24 are clear, take away Russia's superiority and disrupt their offensive operations. And I think it's real. And also some other important things. I met with the heads of American defense companies yesterday. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Really powerful companies. I thank them. And thanks all the workers, engineers, managers who built and build the strength of American weapons, helping Ukraine boost the development of arsenals of democracy. President Biden agreed. And we spoke about it in September to join weapon co-production is very important for us and we'll discuss how to speed up this. And all, we also need to work faster with the frozen Russian assets, over 300 billion frozen uh, assets from terrorists and we should use it to protect against Russian terror and I want to talk about some details regarding our reforms and EU integration. Ukraine continues to reform its institutions even during the war. It's very important for us, and we are successful. I think that's very important. And people need to be confident that freedom is secure and strong enough to win. Thank you very much, Mr. President. Thank, Thank you. you. Whoa, whoa. Whoa, hush up a second, okay? We have one more thing to say. I just signed another $200 million drawdown from the Department of Defense for Ukraine, and that'll be coming quickly. Thank you. Thank you very much.